Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create your very own podcast to use in your classroom. It's actually a very simple process. You only need two things to do this. You need a microphone and you need internet access. And it's all completely free for hosting your podcast and everything. If you don't have a microphone, um, I do have a couple in my classroom. Or I mean, you could purchase one for less than $5 at Radio Shack or something. You don't need a high-tech microphone. Bottom of the line will be fine. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need for this is a software program to record your podcast. And that's where I suggest you go to the Audacity website. And I put that on the wiki here. And the Audacity website is this one right here. Okay, and when you get there... You want to download Audacity. I use the beta. It's the most updated one. Either one is okay. If you have uh, Windows XP, you probably want to use 1.26. So uh, download Audacity, and then when you're ready to create your podcast, your first one, you can open Audacity, and it opens up on the screen like this. When you're ready, make sure your microphone is working. You can click this button right here to help you see if your microphone will work. When you're ready to start your podcast and get recording, hit the record button. Okay. Now, of course, I have an error because I'm using my microphone in another program, but you'll click that, and you'll record your podcast. When you're done, you'll hit the stop button. If you make a mistake, just hit this button and start all over again. When you're ready, go to File, and now you need to export this. When you go to Export, the first time you do it, it's going to ask you if you want to download a codec. It just has to convert something. You want to say yes. So download that codec, and then you want to go to File, Export again. This time when you export it, you want to choose the MP3 option. Export it as an MP3, and then it will ask you how you want to save it. You know, save it to your documents, give it a name. Okay. If you go to Save Project As, you're just saving the actual setup of this file. You're not actually saving the file itself. So you want to export it to MP3, save it to your documents. Okay. Once you get your first podcast recorded, now you need a place to host your podcast. And that's where you want to go to Podbean. It's www.podbean.com. And up here along the top, you want to click the button that says sign up. Okay, so sign up for a free podcast account. You, know, you want to get the free one. Sign up now for the free one. Um, you fill out all the information, okay, and you're going to get your free account. And then once you're signed in, I'm going to log myself back in here. Once you're signed in, you want to click on the very top here your name of your account. All right, That's going to take you to your dashboard here. The first thing you want to do is click on My Dashboard. And then you're going to get to this screen here. Well, what do you want to do? You want to publish a new show. If you want to change the site configuration, what it looks like, the theme, you can do all this stuff a little bit later. That's all in your dashboard. So you want to publish a new show. Okay, and you want to give it a title, give it some tags. This is for people who are on Podbean. If they like for, I use my class name for my tags. Give it a title, what's your first podcast about, and then this down here is your little information piece, You know what people can expect to hear about in your podcast. And then down here is the important part. This is where you're going to upload your file that you just created. So you want to go to select file from account, or you want to browse. You're going to click browse, and you can go to wherever you saved your podcast, I have a special folder that I've created for podcasts. And then what you do is just select the file you want to upload. Hit open. Okay, it'll come up. Make sure it's MP3 down here. And then what you need to do is hit save or publish. And when you publish it now, it's going to publish it to your own Podbean account. And what that means is if you go to your own page, which is always just podbean.com slash in your username, whatever your username is. Mine's T. Shike. Okay, we're going to go here. And it's going to take us to our page. Maybe. Let me try this one more time. Okay, it doesn't like my account, so I'm going to go here the easy way. So it's, I guess your username is first. I apologize. tshike.podbean.com. Here I have my first three podcasts. Episode 3, which is this this week, and then my first two. And when you upload it, this little tool down here is where your podcast is going to play. All your users have to do is click that. And it's going to start to play your podcast. Okay. So I've created a link on my headline page to get this there. Uh, another thing you can do is you can actually embed your podcast onto your headline page. 
down here after you've set up your page go to embeddable player if you click on that it's going to give you two options you can have a white background player or a black background player there's a long code you want to copy that whole code by mousing over it control C and copy it okay now you want to go to your Edline account or your Edline page Once you're there, go ahead and log in. And then once you get logged in, go to your first class that you want to embed it into. All right. And then now down here where it says Manage Class, you want to click this Manage Class button. You know, hit Yes. And then here's where you type stuff into this, this little paragraph underneath your picture. There's a little button up here that says HTML. You want to click that HTML button. And now you want to go to the very end of your stuff that you typed in. Yours is going to look like this when you first bring it up. At the very end, you want to put your cursor down here at the bottom, and you want to hit Control-V. Now what you're doing is you're pasting in that big, long code that you copied from your Podbean account. And then when you're done, you hit Update. You'll get this in there now, this little icon. It doesn't look like much, but now save it. And when you go to your class, scroll down under your little paragraph, and now your podcast is right here on your headline page. All right, and like I said, I've also added a link here. One of the best parts about Podbean and podcasts is that you can actually get an account in iTunes, and you can upload your podcast to iTunes, and students can access it at home through their iTunes account, which we all know many of them have. Very simple process to do. The first thing you need is iTunes. All right, you'll download it. When you're in, you'll click on the iTunes store. And then up here on the top, you want to click where it says Podcasts. You'll click Podcasts. And then you'll go to Submit a Podcast in Quick Links. Submit a Podcast. And then once you're here, you want to just follow through. This URL, this is the RSS feed from your Podbean page, which means if you go over here, back to your Podbean page. I'm sorry, let me go back to my page. And you can get the RSS feed from your player by going in the very bottom of your page, page you're going to see RSS. So if you click on that, there's this address up here. Mine's just tshike.podbean.com slash feed. And yours will be your username.podbean.com slash feed. You want to take that address and you want to paste that right into your iTunes here. Hit continue follow all the way through and when you're done you'll get an email the iTunes team has to approve your podcast once they do you will be broadcast through iTunes and you can search for your username once you get your email that says you've been accepted and if you click on the podcast button here's your your podcast and now students can go in and they can view it. If they want to subscribe to it, they hit subscribe. And now every time you update it, it will automatically download it to their iPod. I know the parents that I've, uh, I sent out an email through Redline once I created it. I got tons of positive feedback um, on how great this is. I keep them updated on homework, class news, any announcements that I have. And uh, it, like I said before, it, it really keeps you from having to repeat yourself over and over again. And as always, if you have any questions on how to do it, just go ahead and let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you.